Hello viewers and welcome to today's video. Today we will be looking at the much more thermoelectric motor cooler. This is a gadget I've had on my shelf for a while and I thought I'd just do a review of it so other people could learn of it. It's something that's been discontinued although much more does release these every once in a while. I just showed you the box. Uh, on the top it gives a little bit of instruction. It says a motor a thermoelectric motor cooler is actually a heat pump which cools the temperature of RC motors using the Pelche effect. When using 12 volt DC current is applied to the module, heat transfers from one side of the thermoelectric unit to the other. Cold sides attach to the heat sink. Put your motor cooler on your motor before you start. The motor cooler will reduce temperature of your motor to almost sub-zero temperatures. That's quite a bold statement to be made. Let's take a look at what we have. Now I bought mine used. As I say, much more does release these time to time. Let's put the box there so we can take a look at it. Now, instruction sheet. Basically how to use is you clamp it. I'll just show the, the clamp. So there's a heat sink with an intense fan wired to the 12 volt power supply now it says in here the prototype of the motor cooler was tested by world champions Mark Reinhardt and Securum Caddy Secura at the 2005 TTIC race in Thailand under extreme conditions hot weather temperature on the track was over 60 degrees C. The, the motor cooler delayed the motors heating as a result the motors were free from the usual problems. Now back then they had brush motors where heat was much more of a, an effect. So that's why they invented this. Other side of the instructions in looks like Japanese. Okay. Um, so it says, one thing that it said is that it was done by the Pelche effect. And so I looked up what the Pelche effect was, and it said that it was discovered by John Charles Pelche. And what he learned was that as current flowed from two, uh, if you made a circuit with two types of metal, and they gave an example of copper and bismuth. So as as um, current would flow through copper and into bis bismuth, you would get heat at that connection. And as it went from bismuth to copper, it would it would cool. And they call this the Pelche effect. So what we'll do is we'll actually try this out. I got my power supply off screen here. You can probably hear it going. Now it is going to be a bit noisy. Let's just use a heat gun. And. Let's just see what temperature the surface is now. It says 74.8. And for our Canadian friends, that's about 23 degrees C. So here we are at about 74. I'm going to plug it in here. A set of alligator clips on it to plug it in. Okay, as you can hear, very substantial fan on it. Let's just see if we had any any changes right away. You see, it's now down to. 62 degrees. And we can also see that the heat sink on this side is 70, is 94 degrees in places, 95 degrees, 97 degrees. So this heat sink is getting zinging hot within seconds. Let me just try the temp on the inside we're now down to about 50 52 degrees 50 degrees internally and 
Now the instructions said within five minutes it would be cool. Let's just take another look at the, the top heat sink. It's now 103 degrees. And let's just take a look inside. Now internally it's 43 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see that putting this on your motor could substantially cool it. And for our Canadian friends, 43 degrees is 6 degrees Celsius. And we're down to 4 degrees Celsius. And the heat sink on the top is... 102, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see that this effect, there's no moving parts in this. If that fan wasn't connected, it's just current flowing between two different materials. It's probably that bismuth and copper. It says caution hot, and it is right. Let's see if I can just kind of hold it still here. To the place where I can measure it. So internally now it is 38 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 3 degrees Celsius. And then we'll take a look at the heat sink at the top, see what it's up to now. It says it's about 98. 103, depending on where it is, 105. We'll just do one more measurement reading and then we'll call that a video. We'll just take, see what's going on on the inside. So it's about 37 degrees. 36 degrees. So it's one or two degrees on the inside, you can see that there's some condensation forming. And on the other side, it's 100 degrees on that heat sink. So I think these little heat sinks, there is probably some use to them that's still to be had. Now just as the comparison to fit on a motor I just brought out a, one of the new Reedy fixed timing motors just as an example it's a smooth can I just wanted to see how it would clamp on you can see that it's a solid connection on there so if it had a lot of holes in it I'm not sure how well it would fit give you an idea so if you could ever find one of these for, you know, for the price, I think they were about $40 in their day. I don't know if this had a price tag on it. So there we go. There's the much more thermoelectric motor cooler. It's a little heat pump you can clamp onto your car before your race and after. So, kind of a noisy one, but thanks for watching.